So in terms of true style, to me everything was dictated by three main crews. I mean others had their contribution but Design Madness, uh, Prime, Prime introduced the idea of uh, interesting perspectives, what you see in hip-hop to this day, all the b-boy characters sticking out at you like it's a comic book. Uh, Daryl from uh, DM, uh, he had this trippy piece and I saw two of them he did. One was in Kahala, illegal, and one was in uh, Pro City or IA, I forget, where no matter which way you looked at his name, it said Daryl. It was a square and any way you looked at his name, and I remember driving out to Kahala tennis courts and actually standing there and going like this, just to trip out on it. True story, you know? I gotta mention Catch. Uh, back then he was known as Snow, um, S-N-O, uh, and Catch from the mid 80s when I first saw him getting up to this day uh, has probably done more to push the technique and to push uh, concept uh, in Hawaii style more than anyone else. Uh, and I would be remiss not to mention Catch. Um, I remember St. Andrew's Priory dance, maybe 86, 87, and Snow comes walking in and me and Atomic are just walking around behind him just to check out his approach and get, and I spent like probably half an hour, just, he must have thought I was a stalker or some shit, because I'm actually standing there just every time he turned around, just looking at his jacket, and we ended up going bombing that night, full fucking guy. Um, and yeah, uh, off the top of my head, that, that's it, those are the style kings right there. Some of the AF cats definitely blow my mind. Wobble, that guy is a king of style. Wobble, I think I met you once in my life, but you're a king of style. Um, who else off the top of my head blows my mind? Uh, I love the shit, and it's gonna sound weird, and a lot of people disagree with me, but I love the shit on it does with its little plant pot thingies, only because it's so bizarre and so organic, and it so takes away from the idea of the letter form, which 99% of the time I would be against, but his shit's just different and dope. Same with Beak. I love the shit that Beak's doing because he's keeping it graph, but uh, he's taking it to a different level. It's not just a name, it's not just a word. Suddenly there's these dope little symbols that are Beak and nothing else. Um, cats like, on one hand, you know, Busu and Debo, I can't take it away from them, but Salt. Assault, I never had the pleasure of meeting. Uh, by the time I came back, he was gone, but uh, all around, everything from, he still has tags running to this day, he has one running about 30 feet that way. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, his pieces were fucking dope, and, and his crew, they got their ups and they were undeniable. Uh, and yet on the flip side, third amounts of style. And I would say right now, the Hawaii King is Faito. Love him or hate him, uh, he got up more, uh, in more interesting places, and he's the only writer that I've had regular people tell me, I see a Faito and it makes me happy. And that's the honest to God truth. I've had more than one person tell me that, and I gotta give him for, uh, credit for that. Um, other than that, not to sound biased, but those EV cats are pretty dope. <laughs>